Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, let's see if we can't see, uh, maybe accomplish some quests. It's a good way to, to get some stuff done. Uh, what is our quest right now? Well, I guess, um, hit Q. Find Dazon Nip. Two to six parasangs north of Brass Site Shamur. Alright, let's have a look at Brass. Yep, let's mark that on the map. And we have to go, what? Two to six parasangs north. That's a bummer. That just sucks. Like, uh, we can give it a try right now. But this sucks. Um, we have to basically go through the mountains. Which I don't like to do. And the hills, which I am very vocally not keen on. What is this? Oh, asphalt's gotten a um, visual update. Looks a lot better now, actually. Looks a lot more asphalty, you know? Something I should have gotten also is Dominate. I'm realizing because there's another achievement for uh, basically projecting your mind onto a, uh, a goat. You see a tortoise, okay. Tortoise is actually kind of a problem for us. They're what, tough? Well, they're injured. We should be able to take them. Um, Temporal Fugue. We are cudgel based on no we're not cudgel based. What are what are we? We are oh we are cudgel based right now. They're stunned though from uh we are double muscled which gives us a, a um stunning effect. Just a natural one, which is nice. So that was our oh briny mararad mararad boon. Honey, red, red, boon. And we just learned of a historic site. Very nice. Excellent. See a snap jaw. Ah, yes, I see them. Another, some more Sultan lore. There is an achievement to um, learn the complete history of a, a Sultan, which. Uh, if you can get to the end of the game, it's actually not that bad, but I've never been able to do it. I don't know. I've just, like, never achieved that goal. I'm trying to find... There's there's going to be a legendary amongst that crowd there for sure. Um, I'm not seeing them, though. Might just be a crowd of baboons. But, uh, you know, count me out of that. Oh my god. Um, alright, let's leave. Oh, let's go back here. I'm meant to be going north anyway. I don't know why I'm going south. Oh god. So there's another... There's a legendary. And oh, we're also being shot at. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Um, let's go back to our village. Please don't get lost. So, as predicted, um, this quest kind of sucks. What is the other quest? Return to Deva. Um, speak to Yamit. Oh, no, that's it. Travel to the historical site of Ekapad. Um, really? That's our second quest? That can't be right. Did we not acquire our other quest? Did I not do that yet? Before I died? Did I say no to it, maybe? By accident? Um, let's see here. This is one quest. Oh, okay, I didn't say yes to the other one. Okay, Chromium Zone. Alright. Locate the historical relic. Chromium zone. Located one to five parasangs east of some forgotten ruins. 
Do we have those Forgotten Ruins marked on our map? Yes. Two Parasangs north of Red Rock. So we have to find the Forgotten Ruins first? Oh god, we're lost in the hills. I will never not hate the hills. The hills will never not be my least favorite zone in Cud forever. I actually prefer Golgotha. I'm not even kidding. Golgotha is predictable compared to the hills. Uh, nylon body pack would be nice. We have some more shrooms. We have... We're very close to having enough for that nylon body pack. We could sell like one book. Sure. Oh, spiked steel gauntlet sounds kind of fun. Unarmed attacks performed while this item is equipped cause bleeding. Are, I wonder, are, are unarmed attacks considered bludgeoning? Because that would be kind of fun. We could do, like, unarmed attacks. I did that, I know I did that already, kind of, with our cyberkin, truekin, uh, with, the, with the cobalt bones. That was a lot of fun. I really like that run. Um, I don't know what the downside is of using our normal fists, but I don't know. They're prob there's probably a major downside to it. So let's grab the nylon body pack. Is there anything else? Maybe a musket? Musket's not great, but it's better than nothing. You don't have 26 drams. Alright, I guess we'll have to sell another book. Bummer. Okay, well, that's fine. We sold a couple of books. So we, we, we are no longer lost. We don't have to be here. So I have to be in the flower fields? Is that right? Wait, this this doesn't seem right. Two Parasangs north of Red Rock. Oh, I, I'm looking at the wrong... I was looking at the, the rusted archway. Okay, so we gotta find... We have to go to the Forgotten Ruins. We can check it out a little bit. Although it is in the hills, technically. Best part of having a, um... Excuse me? Why are we enemies to the, uh, dragonfly? The best reason to have a ranged weapon, especially with Temporal Fugue, is it gives you basically two or three temp um, ranged weapons. Well, you just have to be careful. Because hitting, uh, your, your, your partner has just as much pos uh, potential to, to shoot you. Seems like we've, we've angered pretty much everything in this uh, tile. Okay, I think it's. I think we must leave. Oh, good, a legendary boar. You know what that means, right? There's a hundred percent a uh, slug snout here, without question. Can we proselytize this? Yeah, we can. Oh, I thought that was. I thought that was a. Uh, a bad guy, a slug snout, but no, it was, it was just a vine. Let's uh, intimidate this guy so that we don't, we have a, a, a moment of respite. <laughs> was bitten to death by a snapjaw brute, that makes sense. We, we killed it, nice. There's a boar, we don't have to worry too much about the boar. I'm really worried, honestly, that we're going to bump into a slug snout here. Is there any items here that we care about? Let me see here. Get items F9. Mm, steel hand axe isn't bad. Double muscle. Let me just check here. Double muscled is days. Yeah, a chance to daze your opponent. So you do want to be cudgels on this build because if you have a chance to daze, 
then the next time you have a chance to daze the opponent, I believe they become officially stunned. So that being said, the more chances you have to daze an opponent, the more chance you have of perma stunning them forever. I love cudgel builds. They're one of my favorites, but I also really like axe builds. They're a lot of fun too. And the nice thing about axe builds is um, you have a you can eventually wear anything down. Like anything with high AC, eventually you can wear them down so that they have no AC. Um, which is, oh sorry, AV, sorry, uh, my, my D&D terminology is bleeding into my Caves of Cud terminology here. Um, but, you know, it's a little bit riskier. The nice thing about, um, about cudgel builds is you have pretty much, like, 100% safety. Once you get something into a, a, a perma-stun you know, loop, and you can just keep whacking them, then you're you're pretty much safe. Doesn't matter. It, a one on one with anything, you you can take it on. And ouch! Let's proselytize this guy. Um, but you know, it's it's not guaranteed that you can get into that loop. All right. We need a moment to heal. Your companion died. Oh. All right, all right, that was okay. We still don't have um, a, like a you know we, we have to dig your heels in. We don't we don't have our heels dug in quite yet. So um, we're we're still a bit squishy. We feel a bit vulnerable, and uh, it's gonna take a moment. It's gonna take a while before we can get to a point where we can actually start knocking some achievements off off our, our bounty list. Um, do we want to be here? I don't even know. I don't even know why I am here. I wanted to... What are we doing? We have to... Oh, we're going to that ruin, right? We were going to this ruin so that we could travel from this ruin to complete a quest. So where where are we going from here? Um, one to five parasangs east. So we have to travel east from here. These are the worst quests, by the way. The travel something something, you know, ouch. Um, from a location. Is, is the worst because, like, you just don't know how dangerous that's going to be. Traveling in, in the wild and cut. I mean, you have to travel, like, straight up several parasangs. Generally every time. Why is it that that guy was able to disappear and then reappear in front of me? That was unreasonable. Okay. Are we okay? Are we safe? No. No, we're not. Now we are. And we should make a camp site. Can't cook. There's no hostiles nearby, don't lie. Okay, let's try going east up here. Also, we have to go east. I shot the dragonfly in by accident. We have to go east. Uh, in like the hills, the the worst place ever. Can we proselytize? Unconvinced. Uh, let's intimidate him. Intimidate is a undervalued uh, skill, I think. It's it's been saving my life. Okay. Um, pretty much everything is an enemy to us in this square. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's not good. And we're gonna die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sprint, but, um, I don't, uh, feel good about our odds right now.
We need we need more ammo. Okay, I, I I'm officially calling an end to trying to achieve these quests. We're lost in the hills. Technically in the hills. Hate the hills. Hate them. <laughs> Temporal fugue. Where is our friend? Where where is our clone? Did we just not get one this time? I don't know what did I accidentally hit it twice, I wonder. You regain your bearings. Cool. Um, let's like very quickly go to the ruins of Jopa. Something I, I always should do. So, I mean, th for the longest time I wasn't um, doing a random village spawn like starting point because uh, I was, you know, enamored by the novelty of the new Rust Ruin uh, dungeon. But I'm going to say this. I, I like it on paper. I think it's fantastic. But I kind of hate it. <laughs> it's just like even more like the worst because the rust ruins were already a pain in the butt because there was so much kudzu there and um it just had every potential to destroy all of your gear um but they they really upped the kudzu generation to like 11 in the new version and i'm i'm not about it i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying if i can avoid going to the rust ruins i will because damn damn is it the worst <laughs> Um, I haven't, um, you know what, let's, do we have, oh, that's right, they also, they, they, um, nerfed how, um, apothecaries generally don't have witchwood bark anymore. They might, but they don't. Also, we don't have an apothecarist? Am I look, seeing that right? Seems that we do not have an apothecarist. Do we still have books? Yeah. We could go to the six day stilt and it would give us a moment, a chance to see what we have at the stilt. Or we could get lost in the salt um, desert and get shot at. We're hungry. Hostiles nearby. Yeah, we're, we're, there's a very good chance that we would die, but that's okay, we just saved. I should have bought some more bullets. I always forget to do that. Ideally, we won't have to if we're fighting um, Stiltians. I forget. It's Isakari. We're going to get lost a lot, aren't we? Because I have basically no wayfaring. And there's some Dragoons. Dawn Gliders. Can we pro we'll proselytize this lad, maybe. No, no we won't. We'll intimidate them instead. Yo, also we just did nighttime. Why is it nighttime again? Like I only moved like two steps. Like damn, you've run out of water. Do you want to stop? Don't want no, I guess I don't. Desiccated. Okay. Um, wow, that an uh, amphibian trait is rough, isn't it? We just found a ruin. Uh, I think I'm going to die. You are drying out. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to die. Hmm. You're now hungry and dry. I'm gonna eat some wine fair, wine, vine wafer. We're desiccated again. It's not very, it's not worth, like we take one step and we're already desiccated. I guess the uh, salt desert is really bad for us, huh? Definitely changes uh, things a bit. I'm gonna die for sure.
maybe I can just like take a few steps and then reset our drying period just so I can get to the swamp. I don't know if this is helping. It feels like it's helping. Cobalt field all our cock. There's some uh, oil. We can grab this oil. Uh, eat this. Dry. This is a ruin. Good, a good one. You were drying out. Oh no, almost died. Oh god, this is this is awful. I'm still alive though. I'm just need to get to the swamp maybe. There we go. We're still desiccated though and we can't we don't we still need like fresh water. So, how far is it to our village? Pretty far. <laughs> Oof. Uh I don't want to like just respawn. That that would just seem against the spirit of this whole thing. Eat. We have no ammo. If we take even one hit, we're dead. We we are not in a position to be fighting right now. Temporal fugue. I died. Okay. All right. Well, I need some more water, apparently. I guess I do only have 10 drams. Fair enough. Well, I need to buy some more bullets anyway, so let's go back to the Dromad. And we'll buy their slugs. It's not nearly enough slugs, but whatever. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, I already made friends with um, the slog in a stream playthrough so that unfortunately that uh, that box is already checked strange tubes those are probably chairs let's go ahead and sell some books i guess the whole point for me to go to the still is to hand those books in but we're gonna need that water for sure also i don't think i equipped yeah i didn't equip my nylon body pack what is this good for also Oh, it goes on the back. Okay, never mind. Um, well, let's examine this. Got that from Jopa. And we got some metal folding chairs. Let's mark those for scrap. Oh, I guess we can't because we don't scrap yet. All right, we're hungry and moist. That's the That's the main thing. Maybe, you know, honestly, I'm just going to go to a named location. Yeah, it's going to be tough, and it's probably going to be too tough. Like, look at this. This is absurd. But I'd rather have to deal with this, I guess, than um, the potential for quests that I can't... I don't know. It's just like, this This feels better in some ways. Also, when do we get a second clone? Also, um spawning a bunch of clones in uh, a field of enemies like this is great because you can just kind of like reap a bunch a bunch of XP you might also die very very um, you know assuredly <laughs> but still are we okay? We're we're okay. Really want? Oh, there we go. You your genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four mutation points? Yes. So I'm. Oh wait a minute! I bought multiple legs. I bought multiple legs. Wait a minute. 
Oh no, I just spent... I just f spent four mutation points. I didn't mean to do that at all. Um, you assume the... Whoa, metamorphosis. You may only assume the form of creatures level 10 or lower. This is a new mutation. I didn't even know this was out of alpha yet. Or beta. Uh, I kind of want to try that. I could try it and then die. Um, and then I don't... I will, would technically not have spent my mutation points. The whole point was to not spend my mutation points and spend them on one skill. Um, but I kind of want to try this. Let's, uh, let's try this. Um, how do we do... So, metamorphosis lets you change into a, another form. Seem the form of any creature you touch. So if I touch this guy... Eh... You miss with your staff. I haven't... I guess I haven't hit it yet. I technically must have. I died, so <laughs> never mind. Man, I'm, I'm like doing very badly at this game right now. Well, I'm sorry that we didn't get to see uh, Metamorphosis. That one is supposed to be a pretty cool new mutation that lets you change into, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff that you, like whatever, whatever you touch, you change into, which is really cool. It makes use of the enemy skills in a new way, um, but I died. And I didn't really, like, I didn't want to um, spend my mutation points, so it's just as well. And this is another good reason why I should be on roleplay mode. I tend to make mistakes. No, I don't want to spend them. So instead, I would like to put all of my points into double muscled. Um, you swell with the inspiration to name your nylon body pack, sure. Uh, we're going to call it Hold Stuff. And make it brown. Okay, um... I know I haven't been using my Witchwood Bark. I really should. I'm a little bit worried about these snap jaws near me because that means the my clones have something to shoot at that's near me. Uh, okay, so those salamanders are not our friends. We need to shoot them. It's uh, kind of ironic that the first thing I was going to try and metamorphose with was a, was a chameleon. Ouch. That, is, that sound effect sounds so wet. Just sounds like the wettest slap. That uh, Snapjaw Archer is doing a very good job of shooting his friends. Can we shoot? The, yeah, alright. Cool. Uh, I still want to go to the no name location. I'm just trying to get to a safe spot, whatever that looks like, and rest. And then we can eat. And can I raise my temporal fugue yet? No. Uh, this rank, mutation's rank is increased by two due to your high ego. Um, okay. What we should do is uh, I, I should take some cudgel. We'll take bludgeon. Could take conk, but I like backswing more. Whenever you make a cudgel attack with your primary, there's 25%. You make an additional free attack with the same hand. Sounds good. We need uh, we need a good cudgel. We don't really have a good cudgel right now. This seems like it could be good. Ooh, a platinum tube. Shade oil. Uh, could be better. Could be worse. Let's get back to that name location.
Ouch. Listen, buddy. Get ready to hear about the joys of being a mechanimist. Dazed, stunned. There we go. Remain stunned. Cleaves. We have a cleaving friend now, which is nice. The benefits of friendship. You stop resting. Okay, let's get back to that name location. I'm pretty sure it's in this lo this direction. Are we enemies to that lizard? You passed by a croc corpse. Why are we stopping? Died. She was bitten to death by a croc and member of the cult of the briny heir of frogs. Ooh, heir to frogs, huh? Seems to me we have a lot of opportunities to make friends with frogs. Am I wrong? Uh, we're not friends to the salamander. Okay. We want to rest. Probably I will end this episode before, just, you know, as I clear the screen. And then we'll, the next one will be all about the named location. Let's intimidate this guy. They were not convinced. Let's, uh, proselytize them. They were not convinced. Okay. Temporal fugue then. Maybe you'll be convinced by my other friends. Ouch. Okay, um, I want to run away. Really not excited about being in a, in a position to be shot by my friend. We're very close to death. That's like 100% us. Like, we're, we're getting killed more by ourselves than anything else. Which is, you know, par for the course, honestly. There we go. Those are the major threats down. What is this? Small milky tube. Is that a uh, salt injector? Yeah, salt injector. There we go. Grab that. And another weird artifact. Acid gas grenade. This is the second one we've gotten. It's fine. Are we almost done this screen? Because it's proving to be a real pain in the butt. It's just one croc left. Well, technically a lot of salamanders as well. You have no more ammo left. Oh god. So if I fight this guy... No, we're not enemies to all of the salamanders. Okay. Nice. Wait. Are we... Wet horned chameleon. Really? Where? <laughs> ironically, or not ironically, fittingly, I cannot see them. <laughs> Where is this chameleon? Oh, there they are. I see them. I have no more ammo left. I'd like to, um... Make that lad a friend. Okay, can we proselytize him, please? Nope. They don't seem to want to fight me, although now they do. Alright, we'll Temporal Fugue challenge them. There we go. And then I'm, I'm just gonna wait until our Temporal Fugue is up, and we'll end the episode there. So, um, you know, I, I, won't, I won't say I, I know what achievement we're currently headed towards. Maybe you'd like to recommend in chat which one I could head towards, uh, which is the closest one. It seems like we're heading into a named location that is going to be potentially filled with some frogs. So maybe I could find a legendary frog to make friends with or, I don't know, enemies. But we'll, we'll see. If there are frogs, uh, legendary frogs, then what I'll probably do is um save this name location until i have some love uh, love injectors and then i can um, use those to make friends with frogs and then learn jump that's something we can do but in, in any case let me know in the comments maybe what you'd like to see me do and i'll see you guys next time thank you very much for joining me on this series if you enjoyed the episode definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy Da 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 da